What's this? A random tutorial out of nowhere? What the heck is going on? Anyways, so someone recently asked me, how do I add multiple characters to a single slot? And the only solution really is Eichmann Go, because Mugen has not been properly worked on by its creator in several years. And me, you know, someone who's been in the Mugen community for a very long time, it kind of pushed me away in a sense. But Eichmann Go has brought new life to me. Um, so today's tutorial is pretty much going to be Eichmann Go. Um, so this is just the base Eichmann. All I've done is change the controls. The question at hand is how do you put two characters in this slot? Now first off, I changed my controls so I know what the D and W characters are. For me right now, it's the Q and W keys on the keyboard, which are just above my six uh, button, you know, fight sticks. Yeah. So right now there's nothing. So all of this takes place in the select def file. You can find that in the data folder. And it says select.def. I already have it open. And this is what it looks like. It's pretty much the exact same thing as regular Mugen 1.0, 1.1. However, it has several Eichmann features. Um, so these are basic Mugen things right here. This one is not. This is an Eichmann feature. All the Eichmann features are listed as Eichmann feature. Music life, when the character gets low on life, it'll start playing the music faster or change the song altogether. Music when you win. Set a certain AI for a character if the versus screen is going to display or not you know for like a secret character or something interrupting a arcade run victory screen rank display etc 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 what we're looking for here is the part that says slot <clears throat> now I'm not going to go over everything it says here rather I'm just gonna show you how to do it because I feel like if I read this I'm gonna confuse myself and I don't want to confuse myself it also gives us an example of how slot works right here so, this is our select right here. We have Kung Fu Man Z and Kung Fu Man 720 and the random select. These are some characters that I have here and a stage that I added just for the sake of adding it. We are going to remove Kung Fu Man 720 and just have Kung Fu Man Z. We're going to make two slots for the four characters. I'm literally going to copy and paste the slot code, uncomment it out, and I'm using the tab key on my keyboard to push the words over like that. So it's all aligned. So now, the first character is Kung Fu Man Z, and, oh, okay, I have it here. I'm just going to paste it here. It's Kung Fu Man Z with the stages. Kung Fu Man .def. This is the Kung Fu Temple he's always in. This part, I thought you didn't need, but you do need to have this here. This tells Eichmann which key has to be pressed to either go forward or backward on the character thing. So, we're going to implement my own Kung Fu Man that I made right here with the same thing. Um, I don't know what this code is. I imagine if you like hold start and A you would get this character in the same slot without switching slots I don't fully know but that's one slot and then I'm gonna put another slot the other slots gonna have another Ryu and Akuma as his second person and the stage unbreakable that I made many eons ago there we go so let me space this out. So now I'm gonna save and test it. Okay, so I broke something. Wonderful. Maybe I don't need to put this. Uh, you know, I'm missing a comma. Something simple as a comma can make or break coding, and it's just really fascinating how that works. See, the comma broke the coding. All right, so now we have two characters. This is Kung Fu Man Z and another Ryu. 
But when I press the D or W key, as in the select file here, it switches over to Kung Fu Man, my Kung Fu Man, Kung Fu Master Man. And for you, if I press it, I get Akuma, my Raging Akuma. And as I press it, it'll go between the characters. As for how many characters you can have in a single slot, I don't actually know. It's possible you may be able to have almost infinite amount of characters. But you know what I mean, the limit of whatever your character roster is. Like, I think a good idea for this implementation is if you wanted to do have one block of Ryu and then as you press your button to change character you go through all the different Ryu's like that's a nice way to save space on a screen pack or if you just want to have one box dedicated to Street Fighter characters you can have one little box and rotate to the, each of the characters one by one that's also an idea like this whole thing here opens up potential for so much more and also, there's an unlock feature, which I did get it to work once, but I don't really remember how I got it to work. I went to the link and everything, and I, I don't remember how it worked, but it does work. And it's really, like, crazy what you could do with this. Eichmann Go is definitely the way to go, and, like, once you get into it, it's ridiculous. Um, let me see if I can load that stage up that I put in. Practice. Uh, let's go with Ryu. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna hold Start and select. Yeah, so that's what that S A means. So basically, this select equals Start plus A means it'll give you the secondary character. So for Kung Fu Man, if I hold Start and press A, I will get Kung Fu Master Man, and I did. Okay. Um, I didn't put a picture for my stage. It's an old stage, so. We're just going to go into it. And there you go. Wow. What a nice stage I made. Ooh, the sky is amazing. I like that. Oh, I was so green when I coded this guy. I guess I can still do it. No. I forget how to. Nope. That's cool. Oh yeah, see, that's amateur coding at its best, baby. But that's pretty much all you have to do to have multiple characters in a single slot. Slot equals, uh, what is that? It's not a bracket. It's not a parentheses. I forgot what these are called, actually. I'll have to Google it in, uh, yeah, I have to Google and edit post uh, editing. But yeah, so slot equals bracket. Next line, you have your first character. You have a stage. If you don't want a stage, that's fine. You could just put it like this, and it works perfectly fine. But you do need previous equal D, comma, next equal W, or whatever letters you want. I've tried um, left, right. It didn't work. So it's a different... Uh, letter value you have to use for this but this works and then next line you add the next character with the same same uh, code and then you end bracket to end that slot so this is all one slot and then this is all one slot if you want to go crazy with it you could put um, the order add a hidden character a bonus character boss if you want it for boss rush mode you know the stages for it and everything it's all there you can do all the code you can have a whole chain of like code that goes up to like right here like it's ridiculous but that's it thank you for watching